Hello, everyone. If you want some music, uh, you can go on Spotify and um, you will find the end. You will find A and you can put the first playlist, which is the 52820. And I hope you're still hearing me. Hello. And let's get started. So we're going to st start in child's pose today. So put your knees wide. Not with much with distance apart. Like you just really want to have your knees supporting your rib cage. So you really want to establish the contact between your knees and your rib cage. And your forehead should touch the floor. So if it doesn't naturally, maybe you can put a block. In your hands are extended toward the front of the mat and you're pressing in everything you have to ground yourself to your mat, to your space, to your practice. And I think with um, everything which is happening lately. It's very important to take care of yourself, but also recognize that you are part of a bigger, stronger setup, just life. And life is all of us, right? So I think it's very important to remember that we are stronger together. And yoga is all about that. It's all about coming together, embracing together to spread our energy. Try to focus on your breath. Maybe you can close your eyes here. And try to, now that we are just in a few moments already, try to see if you can go a little deeper. Maybe you can press a little bit further into your hand to put your butt a little more your this. Maybe you can extend your spine a little longer. Maybe you can put your in in to see what's the difference between not having a cut in and a little bit. Maybe your forehead is a bit lower. Your shoulders start to open. And maybe you start to move a little bit side to side. And we're going to come slowly to tabletop position and really take your time to roll your spine and lean right above the ceiling. Take that cat stretch already. Inhale, develop a position. Your spine is long, your neck is neutral. You look at the top edge of your mat. The top of your feet are pressing firmly into the mat. With the palm of your head also, of your hands, sorry, are pressing very, very firmly into the ground. Your fingers are spread equally on your mat, and you press extra the thumb and the index finger area, just because you tend to relax. Inhale deep your belly, open your chest, and you sit bone towards the back wall. Exhale, press the floor away, relax your head. Scoop your belly towards the floor, press your chin. Inhale, cow. Breathe, open your chest, front wall, sit bone back wall. And use the pressure of your hand to press the floor away when you go into your cat stretch. Relax your head, maybe you shake it, yes and no. Shoulder that so out the sky, as well as your lower back. Last few rounds, maybe you're taking some side bends, side stretch. 
opening your ribs side to side. Make it feel nice, free the yourself. Maybe you're going back to the child's pose. Maybe you're going forward to your hands. And eventually you're going to come and find stillness. From here, we're going to extend our right leg behind us. Our toe is stuck even. You can also tuck the, the toe of the left leg if you prefer or if you want to, that's going to help us to be more balanced. But if you want an extra challenge, it's not hurting your knee, you can leave your left toe up there. Your right toe though, is very, very much flexed, and your right leg is super engaged. Inhale, lift your left hand away from the floor toward the front row, and extend everything. Get bigger, get taller. Your neck is neutral. Press everything you have, scoop your bay in, extend, put your hand down, and step your right foot long and back, and kickstand your left to open your chest to come to that body and side leg. Reach your hand very high, and lower your right arm alongside your heel. Your chest is almost once you open towards the sky. Very skin. Exhale, put your right hand to the mat. Resquire your hips. Go back to the top. Take a big inhale here. On your exhale, extend your left leg towards the back. Flex your feet. And this side is different, right? So maybe here you want to tuck the toe, or you want to untuck it and try something different, it's totally fine. The eyes of your elbows are pointing east and west. And on your next inhale, you're going to extend your right arm towards the front row. Press into that standing leg to put your shoulder away from the floor. And you have very much like a line joint here. Extend everything you have, put your baby in, and try to notice the differences between both sides. Inhale, put your right hand to the mat, and then step your left feet to the back of the room. Kickstand your right foot behind you to open your chest towards the side wall. And you're really reaching very high with that, with that um, flying hand. That's going to help you to open your chest and have the tea equally engaged from both sides, both arms. Extend your left arm towards your face. Take a big stretch into your side rib. Close your chest towards the front of your mat. Prescribe the hips. From here, we're going to tuck both of our toes under and we're going to go to that uh, bear crawl type of position. And we're going to, from here, bring your right knee toward your chest, look forward, kick your right feet toward the sky like you want to step with the ball of your feet and your, the plant of your feet. Extend your left leg. To reach long and back, three leg down dog. It's a bit of a short down dog, but that's totally fine. We put your right foot to the mat, knees to the floor. We're gonna take a few rounds of that on both sides. So you're gonna on next step press the floor. We put your belly in, and also your shoulder base toward the sky. Bring your left knee towards your chest, look forward. Step your left foot towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, press the floor, extend your legs and your arm. Inhale, put your left foot towards the right. Inhale, both knees to the mat. 
So I'm going to do it uh, on my own rhythm. We're going to take four of those, so two on each side. And you can either follow me or go at your own rhythm. Inhale, tuck your knees, except sorry. Lift your knees. Inhale, right knee to your chest. Right feet stepping on the floor. Extend everything you have. Both feet to the mat. Both knee to the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your, your knees. Left knee to the chest. Step your left feet to the sky. Extend everything you have. Both feet to the mat. Both knees to the mat. Inhale. Last round. Tuck your toes. Exhale. Lift your knees. Right knee to your chest. Right feet to the sky. Extend. Both feet to the mat. Knees to the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your knees. Left knee to the chest. Left, left feet to the sky. Extend. Take a cow and a cat. You want to neutral. Put your hands a little further than you are right now and extend your leg to go to your first down. Get the fidget out, maybe you open like your feet, maybe you open the hip. Maybe you go side to side, but eventually you find stillness. The highest point of your down dog is your butt cheek. So you really want to use the rotation of your pelvic floor and of your hips to send the hip as high as possible. And it's just that's going to help you release a bit your lower back. Press into the floor with your hands and the ball of your feet. Your finger pads are firmly standing into the mat. I could not lift them if I would be around you. From here, take a big inhale. And on your exhale, we're going to look in between our thumb. We're going to bend our knees and sprint to plank pose. Bend your knees, bend your elbows halfway. Go back to plank. Send your hips back to the sky. Take an inhale here. Bend your knees very, very deeply. Look forward. Spring to plank. Bend your elbows. Back to plank. Hip to the sky. Knees very over it from the mat. Look at your hands. Sprint to plank. Bend your elbows halfway. Go back to plank. Hips to the sky. We're going to continue to do that a little bit longer to continue to warm up. Your joint can crack. Everything is getting a little warmer. And make it as fluid as you want or as slow as you want. You're going to get warm at some point. Last three. Last two. Pass one. Hips to the sky, big inhale through the nose. And a big exhale. Melt your heels towards the floor while pressing your hands into the mat. On your next inhale, bring your right knee to your chest and step your right foot in between your hands. Inhale, open your chest towards the front wall. Exhale, bring your left knee, your left feet toward the right. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, raise your flat back. Come all the way up, arms overhead, reach to the sky. Exhale, arm by your side. Inhale, arms back up. Exhale, bow forward. Uttanasana. Relax your head. Bend your knees if your hands are not touching on the floor. You can also, if you have, you can take a little blanket 
or whatever you have. And when we're doing those warm ups rounds of Surya A and B, maybe you can put your heels on that little blanket. That's gonna help to lengthen your armstring, and that's gonna also help you to bow a little further. So you really want to hinge from your hip. And the fact that the heel are a little higher, again, we open the back of the leg. So you can try it maybe this time, maybe next time. In a halfway lift, fly back. Exhale, plant your hands and step your left foot and your right foot to the back of the rope. Big in, shoulder blades about the sky. Exhale, bend your elbows halfway, chat longer, get low. From here, stay with me. Lift your left foot away from the floor. Go back to plank, three leg down back. Both feet to the mat. Inhale, and exhale. On the next inhale, lift your left feet toward the sky and bring your left knee towards your chest. Press the floor away to step your left foot to the front of the mat. Inhale, open your chest toward the front wall. Engage your left, your back leg. Like that leg is super, super engaged and going toward the sky. Exhale, bring both feet to the front of the mat. Bow forward. Inhale, flat back. With your flat back, extend your hands towards the sky, press your feet into the ground. Exhale, both arms by your side. Inhale, bring your arms back up. Exhale, bow forward, lift your back. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Bend your knees again, don't be shy. Exhale, step your right foot and your left foot toward the back of the room. Exhale, Chaturanga, low push up. Stay here with me. Lift your right foot towards the sky, away from the floor. Press your arms straight, go back to plank. Put your right foot towards your left. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees, and you're gonna take those little baby hop or big hop to go to the foot of the foot. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, through your flat back all the way up. Exhale, arm by your side. All right, I hope you're getting warm. From here, we're going to bend our knees and go to Utkatasana chair pose. You want to have the chest as proud as you can toward the front wall while you're bending and sending your um, your spine, your tailbone, that's what I was looking for, sorry, uh, toward the back of the big E. Exhale, bow forward, lift your quadriceps. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step, step to the back of the room. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, go back to plank, kick to the sky, down not Inhale, right heel towards the, the sky when really making sure that your left heel is not coming with you. So you don't want to have it high here. You really want to keep it close to the to the mat. Bring your right knee to the chest and step your right foot in between your hands. Inhale, high lunge. Bring your arm overhead while you're bending very deep in your front knee. Exhale all the way down. Bring your hands to the mat. Step back to plank. When your elbows have to check your arm, go back to plank and hips to the sky. Inhale, bring your left heel toward the sky while you're bringing your right heel toward the mat. Inhale, step your left foot in between your thumb. Inhale, high, high lunge. Bend your front knee while you're trying to get as low as you your arm towards the sky, your chest is open, and try to not tuck your chin towards your chest. You really want to keep all that front body open. Maybe you extend a little bit further your back, your back leg, and your chin are also going towards the third floor. Exhale, arm to the mat, hands to the mat, left foot toward the back of the room, and your elbows halfway to your neck. Go back to play, hips to the side. Big inhale, 
and the extension. Three breaths. Last one. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees, and step or jump to the front of the room. Inhale, halfway, lift, flat back. Exhale, bend your knees, upward your torso, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, Samasiti, inhale to the heart center. Strengthen your leg. We regroup here. Maybe you want to set an intention for your class. Maybe you want to share a practice with someone that is maybe not able to do the same thing with Last three breaths. Open your eyes, reach your arm back to the sky, bend your knees, put Kakasana chakras. Exhale, bow forward, lift your quadriceps. Inhale, half a lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step, step to the back of the room. Inhale, Chaturanga. Keep your feet stay low. And then a the torso. Press into the top of your feet. Your thighs are away from the floor, or you're bringing your chest toward the front wall. Upward facing dog. And hips to the sky on your exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, step your right foot toward the front of the room. Inhale, high lunge. Bend deeply into your front knee. Hand to the sky. Exhale all the way down through Chaturanga. Flip your feet, upward the torso, Udva Mukha. Hips to the sky, downward facing up. On your next inhale, you're going to bring your left feet in between your hands. High lunge, bend deeply in your front knee and reach high with your head. Your heel is above the ball of your back foot. Exhale all the way down, bring your hands to the mat, step back to plank. Then your elbows high for chaturanga, upward your torso, upward facing dog. Use your belly to bring your hips back to the sky. Downward facing dog, five breaths. And you practice the thing you know, that's how we are just getting better. It's to know that we are on the right path and continue to practice them. So then we are more comfortable to practice the thing we don't know. Because we have a strong foundation, a strong base. Your armpits are facing one another, pressing. Your heels are lengthening toward the back of the room, not pressing toward the mat. Your toes are like, if you're trying to lift them, and don't lose your arm. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward, and step, step, or jump to the front of the room. Inhale, half way lift, flat back. Exhale, bend your knees, apart the torso, Utkatasana. Last inhale, exhale, Samasthiti, extend your leg, go back to center. I hope everything is, everything is fine and everybody is doing good. Inhale, bring your arms back up. We're going to go back to downward facing dog. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step, step to the back of the room. Exhale, chaturanga, bend your arms. Halfway with your wrist and your elbows are together. Aligned. Inhale, upward facing dog. Bring your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Big inhale. And we get them. We're going to start flowing. We're doing again a little bit of hips today. If at any time you want a break, please help yourself and go to child's pose as we start the class. You can also just take a seat and take a sip of water. You really need to listen to yourself and take what's good for you. Because only you can know. And I cannot even see you, so that's very hard for me to tell you when. So if we were having a break, please go back to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, you're going to bring your right heel towards the sky. And again, notice where are you 
will gain the imbalance here. Do you put more weight into your left hand than your right hand? Or this is the opposite. Where your left heel is going? Is it going super high or can you keep it a bit lower? And what's that flying line is doing? Okay. Bring your right ankle towards your left knee and take that figure four shape with your leg where you are still in bound up. Roll to plank. And you're going to land on to your right hand. So you're going to take side plank with that figure four violation. Look maybe at your top hand. Close your chest back to the mat and go to the other side. So left hand is on the mat, right hand, right hand is flying. Maybe you look at it. I would advise you to look also at the top of the mat because we're going to step our right foot toward the front of the mat. Inhale, frame your, your face with both of your arm, lightning wire. So you're really reaching as long as possible with your hands going to help you um, straighten your spine. Exhale, bring your arm to your side like an airplane and you're going to take off the kasana. Airplane pose. In the kasana, your shoulders are higher than your hips and you're really pressing that standing leg as straight as possible. That flying leg is also as straight as possible. Your hands are above your butt, so you, it's like you could have a block in between your hands. Inhale, straight. Straighten your torso. Don't put that left hand, left, sorry, feet on the floor, but bring it with you towards one leg that has your chin is away from your chest, you reach your hand very high. On your next exhale, you're going to have your right hand grabbing your left knee, and you're going to open your chest to the side wall. And you reach with your hands as high, as long as possible. Maybe you look at it if you want to challenge your balance. Maybe if you can, you can grab the side of your left feet. If you cannot, your leg is super engaged because your feet is flat. Reach the crown of the head toward the sky. Open both arms to the side. Maybe you straighten your leg. As you can see, I have a little bit of struggle with my left, but I'm trying. My baby is here. I'm getting high and tall. And you square your, oops, sorry, your chest toward the front wall. And bring your left ankle toward your, your right knee. Bend into your right knee, standing figure four. So we are exactly the same shape as we were having before, but we are standing. And get as low as possible with your right leg, across the torso, don't get too low. Okay, both feet to the, to the floor, Utkatasana chair pose, so it still work, but at least we have to fit on the floor. Maybe you extend your hand. And from here, we're going to lift our right, our right toe and we're going to extend it toward the front of the room. I, mean, I don't know why I'm going to do that to you guys, but it's like you really want to get low and you're pressing into both of your knees to extend that right foot forward. And to get there, you just need to bend a little bit more. Okay, and you're gonna work, you're gonna step very long and back with your right foot to get to high lunge. Open your arm side to side while you're two. Press into that back leg, back edge of your front of your back feet while you're really bending deep into that front one. Open your chest to the side, reach your index finger away from each other. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Reverse your triangle, take the stretch on the side, breathe as much as you can. Your back hand is very, very light. And let's parallel our arms side to side. You have your distance of one of your legs in between the both of your feet. You're pressing very, very firmly into all the carpet legs. To go to Trikonasana, triangle pose. 
Une chukonasana, our hips are going toward the mat, while our chest is going toward the side wall, even eventually toward the, the sky. And that's the opening, the twist into your chest that's helping your neck to go also sideways. Maybe you look with your left eye at your right thumb. Bring your right arm alongside your face. We bend into your bottom knee and let into extended side angle. You can put your left arm on your left thigh. Extend, reach, take the stretch. Carve your left butt cheek under the thigh. Both of your legs are pressing toward the back wall. Empty your hands to your mat. Whatever way you want to go back to downward facing dog, if you are with me, bend your elbows half from Chaturanga. Keep your feet apart your torso, Otanka. Bring your hips back to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale and release. Lower your heels to our Press your hands to the, to the mat. Bring your tips to the sky. Make the sides of your waist get longer. Inhale, bring your right, left heel toward the sky. Exhale, bring your left ankle toward your right. Maybe you bend a little bit your right knee, gonna have to keep it while you want to keep it. Inhale, go back to go to plank with your finger, figure four on your leg, and land into your left hand to take that modified side plank. Open your chest to the side wall. Reach the crown of the head toward the, the front wall. Exhale, empty your right hand to the mat and go to side plank. On the opposite side. And maybe you look at your flying hand for one second to challenge your balance. Then I would recommend you to look at the front of your mat while you're going and you're gonna step very, very wide that left feet toward the front wall. Inhale, bring your arm alongside your face to take that kind of lightning wire. Exhale, bring your hands to your side to take off and go to the castle. Your flying leg is engaged, your feet is flexed, your shoulder above your hips while you're looking forward. Really in, extend your arm. Inhale, point your leg and you stand up to bring your arm to the sky and your right knee into your chest. Press your fingertips towards the sky. Your steady leg is super straight. Exhale, open twist to the right. So you send your right arm toward the back of the room. Grab your body either the side of your feet if you can, or just grab your knee. It's totally fine. And if you have the feet, you're really pressing that feet into that and that hand into the feet. Crown of the head towards the sky. Last two breaths. Release your feet and stay here open. Five, four, three, two, one. Oops. <laughs> Resquire your chest toward the front wall and keep that leg as straight as possible for the last moment. Lend your right ankle on top of your left knee and go lower into that standing figure four. Your right feet is flexed and your chest is open to the front wall. Get lower into your standing, standing leg and empty your right foot close to the left foot. So we're gonna redo that little we thing we were doing earlier. So we're gonna lift our left feet away from the floor and you're gonna send your left heel toward the front wall. And to do that, just get low with your right leg. Keep your chest open and bring your left feet, leg to the back of your mat. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Open your arm, open your leg, lend into a more familiar pose. It's not easy. Feel back out alignment, get low into your front, front knee while you press into the back edge of your mat. Extend your hands side to side, 
a little moment more. Extend both of your legs and reverse your triangle. Your back hand is very light and you're taking the stretch into the side grip. Inhale, upward the torso. Shortening your stand to have the distance of one of your own leg in between your two feet. And you saw, I was like that, which is not the purpose of triangle, and I correct it to be like that. That back leg is really the same as Tadasana. So we want to keep all that side being one block while we're lowering our torso. So the position is coming from here. It's not coming from the hip. So you your hips are when you're reaching your index finger away from one another while you lower your your torso. It's not coming from the hip. And empty your arm and your hands towards your front chin while you're opening your chest towards the side wall. I don't know if you have any other problem. I hope you're sweating like I do. So we are in triangle, I know. I remember you guys are here forever. We bend into your front knee. Bring your left arm alongside your face while you're lending your forearm to your uh, right thigh. Extend the triangle. Close your chest to the max. And go back to plank. Bend your elbows half a touch on them. Keep your feet apart your torso. Use your bed to bring your feet back to the sky. Bring both knees to the mat and take a little chance pose. So we're going to do that once more. And then we're going to chill a little bit. When you're ready, tuck your toes under and go back to the more facing back. Big inhale and big exhale. On the next inhale, you're going to bring your right heel towards the sky. Bring your right anchor towards your left knee. Bend your left knee and press the floor with your hands. Roll to plank pose and go to side plank on your right hand. Open your chest to the side. Extend your left hand alongside your face. Empty your left hand to the mat and switch side. Side plank on your left hand. Open your chest, get peak. Look at the front of the mat while you're going with your feet and step that right foot to the front of the mat. Turn your, your face with both of your hands. Your chin is untucked so you look a little further forward. You also look where you're going. You bring both of your hands toward the side of your waist, alongside your body, above your butt, and you're going to press to lend or to take off into the kasana. Flex your flying feet while you're opening your chest to the front pole. Inhale, apply your torso. Bring your left knee with you. Reach your hand high and press into your standing leg. Exhale, grab your left knee with your right hand and open your chest to the side wall. Reach your left hand as far as you can and the crown of your head is going towards the sky. Extend both of your arm, maybe your leg with it. Press everything you have. Five, four, three, two, a little higher, one. Bring your hands to the sky and bend into your right knee while you're bringing your left ankle on top of it. Get lower. Maybe you keep your hands high this time. That's helping to get your spine very long. Release in and get lower. Land your left feet with your right foot and you are now in Utkatasana. Lift your right feet away from the floor and extend your right leg toward the front wall. Bend a little bit further into your left. 
a little further, belly in, and step very long and back to go to high lunge. And now we know we were a little bit uncomfortable, but now we have two feet on the floor and we are used to that pose. It's not easy, but we are used to it. So it's really using those moments. Trust the process. Open your arm side to side and let it to around you. Your side bone are pressing towards the back wall while your crown of your head going high. You're pressing into the back edge of your feet and your belly is here. Index finger away from one another. Extend your front leg and always saying that trust the process it's just because there is some moment where we struggle and we don't know where we're going but then we have a release somehow and the practice is exactly like life extend your arm side to side sharpen your stand a little bit I will, I will. you have front heel back arch alignment and you look maybe at your back and you keep that hip firmly in and you lower your torso toward your front leg. Maybe you land, you land on the top of your chin or outside of your front feet. Open your chest to the side of Bring your right arm alongside your face. We bend into your leg. And the stretch from the knee, in, carry the left foot kick under while you're pressing into the side edge of your back foot. Close your chest to the mat. Bring both feet to the back of the room. Bend your elbows high from Chaturanga. Flip your feet up while your torso upward facing dog. Bring your hips back to the sky. Downward facing dog. Last side. Hips high, press into your hands. Lengthen your heel toward the back. Left leg high. Inhale. Left ankle to the right knee. Exhale. More to plank. Inhale. Side plank left. Exhale. Get tall, get big. Empty your right hand to the mat and switch side. Inhale. Maybe you look at the front of your room where you step your left foot. Very high to the mat. Find your, feet, your face with both of your hands. Modify the high lunge. Bring your arm alongside your body, above your butt while you're pressing, and take off to the gasana. Flex your flying feet. Your standing leg is super engaged, and your torso are long. Inhale, bring your right knee to your chest, and your hand very long and high towards the sky. Exhale, open your chest side to side. Maybe you're grabbing your left, your right knee or the right side of your right foot. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, twist a little bit more. Your standing leg is super, super straight. Release what you hold and open everything you have. Bring your arms back up, square your hips and your shoulder towards the front wall, and bring your right ankle on top of your right knee, on your left knee, sorry. And you keep your arms straight, sorry, this time. And you get as low as you can on your left leg. Chin away from the chest, bend a little deeper. Bring both knees together, both feet together. Lift your left hand, left feet, sorry, away from the floor. Keep your knees together, it's gonna to help that weird variation. And extend your leg to the front row. Get lower and taller. And step long and back with your left foot and land to high lunge. Open your arms side to side, wire two. Reverse your triangle, extend your front leg while you are going high with your right hand. The arm side to side, sharpening your stand a little bit more to go to triangle pose. And you see I'm going very slow on my descent. It's helping me to get the right alignment and keep my chest open. 
Bring your right, left arm inside your face. Bend to your front knee. Bring your forearm to your front chest, to your front knee. And take the stretch to the side. Inhale, get big. Exhale, both hands to the mat. Both feet to the back of the room. Then you are both high for Chaturanga. Keep your feet, the part of the torso. Upward facing dog. Use your bend to bring your hips back to the sky. Then what's facing dog. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. We're going to, um, from here, look forward, bend your knees, and step to the front of the room. You're going to go as low as possible, like you are in a little bowl. Maybe you grab both of your knees, relax your head towards the front of the room. And we're going to take a crow pose from here, last little piece of work. So you're going to stay as low as possible, and you're going to, I think you see me, but you're going to try to put your knees in your armpit as low as possible. And to do that, you just round in your lower back, right? So it's really that cat stretch we keep on taking from the beginning of the, of the class. Your big toes are touching one another and pressing one another. You're looking forward, you're looking where you're going, and you're just trying to lift your butt towards the sky. Not get the butt super high, but it's like really that motion of getting balanced. And here, maybe you lift one toe, maybe you lift the other toe, maybe you lift both of the toes, and you're trying to press the floor away to straighten your arm. Look forward, last five. Breathe in, shoulder blades toward the sky, two, and one. So from here, either you step, you just release, or you can shoot it back. To go to Chaturanga, up on the torso, hips to the sky, down on the single. All right, from here, big inhale, exhale, empty your knee to the mat. We are going to take a back bend from here. So... We, I recommend to take camel pose. We did that last week, and uh, I feel like it's uh, you should try to not force it. I don't think it's worth forcing it here. So you are on your knees. You see, I padded my knees here and I press my chin toward the floor. If you want, you can bring your toes high like that. I mean, you can tuck your toes under, but it's not my favorite uh, option because you lose balance into your back chin. So it's really pressing the back chin. And the, the back bend is coming from your start to thoracic spine. So it's like the upper part of your body. So I would put up today my, um, the web of my finger uh, uh, behind my head. And I'm going to keep my elbow very, very wide. So I don't want to see them in my perfect vision. I really want to open my chest here. And I'm going to use my my thumb to lengthen my neck. So I'm really gonna put my, my thumb on the side of my neck and keep my elbows open. And I'm gonna try to just get to get as high as possible while your hips are staying above your knees. So the bend is coming from your upper back. And eventually you're gonna have no other option than going back. But the first motion is going getting tall, getting high. And it's so hard to breathe sometimes in back bend that you can open your mouth even if it's not the most traditional approach. Inhale, go back to center. Exhale, put your butt to your chin, to your hips, sorry. And we're going to take another one. So either you're taking that again, or you're going into your back and you're going to take a bridge pose. So in bridge pose, you have your knees above your heel. And some people recommend sometimes you should be able to touch the back of your heel with your fingertips. It really depends on the length of your arm, but that's a good measure for people who are 
most proportionally, I would say. And so you keep your knees also keep with distance apart. If you have a block, you're more than welcome to put the block in between your legs. That's going to help to keep your back, um, the side, sorry, the side of your hips very much engaged, but also the right distance in between both of your legs. And from here, you're going to press into your heel, your toes are light, and your butt cheek are engaged, but not super, super firm. And you're going to either grab the side of your mat to put your shoulder blades under your back, and you put your chin away from your chest. So either you're grabbing the side of your mat and you're trying to tear it apart, or if you feel comfortable here, maybe you can neutralize your hands at your lower back. That's going to help to even have your shoulder a little deeper under you. And you're really lifting your hips as high as possible alongside to your knees and your shoulders. So knees, hip, shoulder should be as straight as possible. Get a little higher, chin away from the chest. Don't forget to breathe. Last two. And last one. Empty your butt. You can keep the bind actually under your butt. And that's going to be a nice stretch. Of course, if it's painful, don't do it. But it can be a nice uh, a neural uh, stretch for your shoulder. Yeah. Extend your leg if you want to. Just try. If it doesn't feel good, you can always change your leg. All right. Remove your hands. And you are on your back. So from here, um, I'm going to call figure four because we did that a lot. So our hips are pretty ready. But if you want to take pigeon, it's also an option. It's like more yoga uh, type of uh, stretch. Uh, but I really want you to don't don't make a big deal of your chin being parallel to the front of the room. So you are. Okay, let's do it. Sorry. You, you are here. If you want to take pigeon pose, you can take it from there. And you're going to bring your right knee to your right uh, arm and your ankle, left ankle towards the right, the left, the left wrist. And you're going to put the leg here. And you see my chin is also totally fine. Your chin will never be parallel to the front of the room. And it's totally fine because it's all about the hip. So we don't, we don't, I mean, don't hurt your knee to get that in parallel while we are speaking about opening the side body. From here, take a big inhale, upward your torso. Exhale, bow forward. And I also recommend here to extend your hands to the front of the room that has some impact into the spine to just get longer and deeper. And if you, as the same as we start the room, if you, so our head is not touching the ground. Maybe you can put a block under. You can also put a block under your chest to support your torso going to a Switch side if you didn't do so already. And you can change your mind. So for me, my left side is very, very tight. So that um, pigeon pose is uh, it's sometimes a bit challenging. Two days going, but sometimes it's not feeling the best in my body. So I do, I like to do figure four on my left and, and uh, pigeon on my right. And it's like, again, adjust what you need. We don't want to hurt, to be hurt. We want to feel good about the practice. And if you are still in pigeon pose, you're trying to lift that butt cheek toward your back foot. That's going to help again to not dump into your joint, but really take the stretch like where you need to. And also, if your hips is away from the floor, like very, very high, you can take a block or like a roll towel and place it under the hip. It's going to help the hip to release, to feel supported, basically. If you feel like you have something under, it's easier to whew, relax a little bit more. 
Last three breaths. Last two. And last one. Remove your props if you had some. If you are in a down dog or a pigeon, you can just uh, flip yourself. Um, and we're gonna land into our backs to go to our corpse pose, Shavasana. Maybe the last thing you want to do is uh, take a little spinal twist. So either bringing your knees together, when you turning your hips to one side and to another, or you take a happy baby, maybe just bringing your knees to your chest. But make it part of your Shavasana. And if you're ready to rest here, you're gonna take a deep, deep breath in through your nose. Sip a little bit more hair and keep it in. And sip a little bit more. And then. If you have more time and you want to stay here a little longer, please do so. If you deserve it, if you work out, if you need to get rolling with your day, maybe you bring your knees to your chest, give yourself a big hug, and you can roll on the right side. Take feet to position. Use your top hand to upward your torso and it in a seated posture. Spine is long, pressing to your seat bone, last piece of work. Bring your hand to your heart center and think about, think about your intention at the beginning of the class. If you send the practice to someone. I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you for your time and your trust. Thanks for being here with me. Have a great Monday. Go in peace. Namaste. Thank you guys.